All right, Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom, a salute to the hopefully elect. So uh, this this uh, particular video is going to be about uh, this this guy right. Uh, he um, he went he went to the spirit world. I believe he had a dream. It says uh, so so called white man dreams that he only saw black people in heaven. And um, there's been a lot of things going on lately. You know, a lot of events. You know, but we've been telling. Uh, this truth for um, I don't know how how long um, start with the elders and apostles on down on these lies about Caesar Borgia and the color of the Lord and the uh, description of his people because that's important because that's going to determine the salvation you know because there's no salvation for uh, these um, these heathens you know these non-Israelites you know and there's no salvation for, um, you know, the two thirds. Now, eventually, of course, all Israel shall be saved. So they're going to come back, but they're going to get destroyed on this side. So this this so-called white, because we know that uh, it's all about your lineage. And um, through the spirit, you may look white, but you could be an Israelite. And oftentimes we have a lot of Israelites that... Uh, come up and they look white at the camp but a lot of times they be jake now i'm not saying every white guy that walk up to the camp and he got a little flavor um or because esau ain't got no flavor but uh esau um of course he, he got characteristics and traits so it, it is what it is every so-called white man that could um got a characteristic may may um, probably not an Israelite, you know, but uh, it's a lot that 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 is, you know. But we're gonna have some Edomites actually coming to the camp. But um, I'm gonna play a little bit of this this video, right? But before I play the video, because a lot of these people, and this is a cut to you Christians, we've been saying that because uh, how I grew up, I grew up in the uh, Jehovah's Witness, and my mother and, and my pops they used to drag us to the um, the hall. Now I learned some things, you know, they did what they, you know, the water, you know, I was shot for my um, parents, you know, they, uh, you know, raised us pretty uh, decent and, um, you know, they looked out for us, you know, so the water for that, you know, different brothers came up different ways, you know, and I always say this, um, a lot of brothers were introduced to the, um, you know, the scriptures, you know, at an early age or that was the foundation because if we ain't really have no foundation, we wouldn't have been worried about um, coming in as truth first off. But that was the, um, you know, the pinpoint, you know, and then we, we, we um, started our journey from there, you know, so some of us may have, you know, grew up in the church. Uh, which is the Kingdom Hall is the same thing as a church, uh, Baptist, Jehovah's Witness, uh, Seven Day Avengers, whatever, you know, Muslim, uh, Nation of Islam, and even these other Israelite camps, you know, that's outside of uh, the, the truth, you know, the, uh, the correct doctrine. So let me get this one scripture before I start the video because. And uh, the scripture that I want to go to is Acts chapter, um, I think it's 5 verses 30. So let's get it. And uh, this is Acts chapter 5 and we're going to go to verse 30. And this is the, uh, the New Testament. All right. So it says, the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shah, whom he slew and hanged on a tree, which they did to the, the so-called Negroes. Or the black American, him have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, or him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. See that? Not all nations, 
it says Israel and forgiveness of sin. So I wanted to start off with that. So his people is going to look like him. All right. Now, through the scattering, matter of fact, let's get that before I go. Before we play the video, I just want to prove Deuteronomy is that we've been scattered. So it says, um, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It says, um, and the Lord shall bring. No, is that it? Uh, oh, here it is. Verse 64. It says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, neither there, neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even what is thrown. So you don't, if Israel is over in the Middle East, you don't think he going to get with that, them women? Wherever we go, we, we, we get with the women. All right, that's just a, a trait that uh, uh, Jake had, you know. So we're going to have children with them, and they're going to come out looking like the other nations. All right. And all it takes is uh, two generations, two, three generations, and you might got an Israelite to look straight like an Edomite. All right, but let's play the video. All right, here's the video. And I believe some brothers may have, you know, did a video on this before. I'm not sure because the video is pretty, it's, uh, I think it's uh, like an old video. So, but I'm just getting around to it. So, the water for that. The water you have watching me all shine for that. So let's go. Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right, let me um, fast forward. Get to the uh... Latino. As you know, I see. All right, here it is. I wanted to just get to the point. All right. Series of two dreams that has a message. I want to share. Church told me once, with faith you can boldly walk into heaven. I thought I was doing everything right. This is part of it, but I got married and her family were a Buddhist family and um, well respected. Big wedding. Mm. I would tell them about Jesus, that Jesus loves them. One by one, her brothers, all her brothers, her mom in her room and she pointed out a Bible and said, yes, I love Jesus too. But we were young and we departed and her mom quickly and I had a dream where she came, approached me in my dream. She was like a glowing white uh, outfit. It didn't have a, a shine, but it just had like a light bulb glow. And um, she had, she looked very happy. And she came closer to me and she rubbed, she rubbed my arm like this with two fingers. And she said, you know, like black people, and I woke up. I didn't understand the dream because I have black friends. I, I don't have anything against black people. I didn't understand. So I had another dream right after this dream. That the kind of dream where you remember and never forget. But I remember in this dream that I was staring at my feet, that I was barefooted. And I was standing on um, 
something that felt perfect on my feet. Like, the way, that, the temperature, the way how it felt like, it wasn't like a flat marble slab where you can slip. This thing had a, felt like a nice, perfect grip. And that started. So in the scriptures, it does, when he said that, I was like, because the guy seemed sort of like impaired, uh, in other words, tipsy or a little drunk, maybe. But, hey, as they say, um, the truth come out, come out of a, uh, you know, a person when they, when they feeling it, you know, sort of say. But, uh, and he looked like he could be somewhat of a northern tribe, but, hey. It is what it is. But when he said he was standing on something like a, uh, because the scriptures uh, say that the elect is going to be standing on molten glass, which I believe is either the, the chariot looking down or the, you know, up, up there by the firmament. You know what I'm saying? Looking down at the, um, the missiles, the nuclear missiles destroying Babylon. But uh, any old way, let's let's go ahead looking at what I was standing on and it was like a it wasn't gold but it was golden and it kind of had like these sparkles in it where it kind of looked like it dissipated thicker and as it got to the thicker of it and um and that's when you feel the presence of um, of no time it's like a uh, you just know that there's no any time when he said that when he said the presence some years back I believe I told um, the brothers in my camp one situation uh, I ran into before I came in the truth that I was over one of my ex uh, ex house we were sitting out, outside on, in the front and you know how Baltimore is it's, it's crazy. Well, any old way, we was, uh, some dudes came up and tried to rob us. And the guy pulled out the gun. And um, when he did that, right, uh, automatically I felt the presence of the Lord. Like, it's, it, it's the weirdest feeling, but I felt the Lord. And that was before I came into truth. It felt like an angel was like right over top of us. Wherever it, wherever it was, I could feel a presence, right? So after that, um, we we uh, we scrambling, and the dude, uh, you know, he like hit me with the gun or whatever, and they dipped off because my ex uh, father had came out and to check on us, and uh, that's when they ran off. So the water, you hope I should be out shot for that. And those demons, they might be um, dead now, you know. But uh, it, it, when he said that he felt the presence, it's it's a presence that you feel when you're in the uh, presence of, you know, a, a, an angel or a spirit being like that. Well, anyway, let's go. And um, after this, I'm going to um, get a couple scriptures to show you that, you know, the spirit world. Hey, the, the, Lord, the Lord ain't going to send his son down with no... Um, deficiencies no um no leprosy all right let's go there and so when i raised my eyes because in the dream i was looking at the ground and even wanted a closer look at it but then when i raised my eyes i saw a, uh, a gate I said so I, I said I must, I must be in I must be in heaven the, the peace and where I stood but I saw a gate and uh, on the other side of the gate it was like a whole bunch of black people looking at me and I had this feel of like, they're looking at me like, um, he, he think he's about to walk up in here or something. But these people, 
had ancient type of look like they were taller different kind of shapes but they were all black i didn't see anything else okay so he said he said they had that ancient look you know i know brothers they uh the uh, elder elder carasa bar the elder uh, uh gms baltimore he always say i have uh like an ancient look like you know like how some of the um israel ancient israelites you know would look you know all of us got you know all of us got an ancient um aspect to us but he often uh brings that out you know how the angels it's like an ancient uh look you know what i'm saying but uh Let's get a couple of scriptures because I'm going to show you that the Heavenly Father himself is a black man. All right, this is Daniel's chapter 7 and verse 9. It says, The ancient of days reign. And what ancient mean? It means before time, very old. And uh, who's the ancient of days? Who was here before the days? The Heavenly Father, the Most High. So it says, I beheld to the thrones were cast down with the throne. So this is talking about when all. At the end of this thing, when um, Yahweh shall take down all the, uh, the kingdoms, right? It says, and the ancient of days did sit. So the heavenly father going to be sitting down on his throne while Yahweh shall out there, you know, getting busy. Or after he finished the job, it says, who garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. There's only one people on this earth with woolly hair you know and that's the so-called negro or so-called black man black looking man so it says his throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels was as burning fire and it's a couple more scriptures that go into um you know the color of his hands um the color of the uh the most high's hands and his feet Right. Um, let me see. Is this one the one? Um let's go to Revelations uh because this tell you the, the, the color of the Lord himself, the 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 most high in the sun. So it says um Revelations one and four, fourteen. It says um I'll start at thirteen. It says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girded about the paps with a golden girdle. So he had like a belt. It says, his head and his hair, meaning his hair and his beard. Right? It says, his head and his hairs were like the wool, were like wool, as white as snow. It says, and his eyes were a flame of fire. He had red eyes. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So, it's, you know, we all know brass is dark brown. But if you take it and you throw anything in a, in a burning fire, what is going to turn? It's going to turn black. So, Yahweh Shai uh, is a very dark skinned man. All right. When we talk, we're not talking about that Hamite. Uh, purple dark <laughs> we talking about that dark deep chocolate brown beautiful uh, brown chocolate color all right yeah I, yahweh shower had a best best looking complexion there is you know and in the kingdom um we we all going we we're going to look better you know the heavenly because the heavenly father made and this time we don't we don't often bring this issue up like that, but we under curses. So the Heavenly Father pretty much kind of like jacked us up and made us gave us uh you know deficiencies like messed us up as far as our features, you know, kinda you know, he did that with the hair, like made our hair not grow because he didn't it's not about the texture because the Heavenly Father there's nothing wrong with woolly hair. Woolly hair is actually nice. It's the thing that it don't grow as fast as the black woman wanted to grow. She don't take care of it. So she uh, she wants her hair to be like an Edomite. But in the kingdom, their hair going to grow faster. 
wish they had grow on this side, but they under curses, so pretty much they pick chemicals and all that shit and they mess their hair up. So, but in the kingdom, everything gonna come together, and we gonna be beautiful in the kingdom. Uh, we gonna every all our features are gonna be magnified. Complexion, we ain't gonna have no. Uh, we gonna be perfect. Your eyebrows gonna be, uh, you know, fully in. Your brothers that don't, don't got beards now, that's under curses, we gonna have full full beards. You know, um, your hair hairline is gonna be there. Whatever, we just gonna be beautiful, man. And a lot of us brothers are gonna be like dark, but we are gonna be all different uh, shades of brown. You know, so you're still gonna have like a light brown because that always been, you know, that's a, that's a beautiful color as well. That that from uh, dark chocolate brown to um, all the way to uh, a caramel or um, a light brown. You know, that's for the lighter brothers. That hey, that's that's a beautiful color as well. You know, you black and you're beautiful because the, the the heavenly Father said we are speckled bird. You know, but as far as that red color, that that Edomite color, that's a curse. You know. So um, yeah. Let's go to uh, let's get a couple more. Uh, let's go to Song of Solomon, one and five. It says, "I am black, but comely." <laughs> oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. See, and it's uh, we we wouldn't have never noticed this was in the uh, the scriptures. You know, I am black. This King Solomon talking to the you know the daughters, but they will say these Edomites will say, "Oh, that was uh." That was uh, the, the the female talking, saying she is black. Nah, that's King Solomon saying he's black and beautiful. Right? So, uh, yeah. Let's get Jeremiah uh, 14 and 2. It says, Judah mourning and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. So the... the the Israelites are black, man. The so-called black Americans and those that scattered abar abroad, you know? So I hope this is edifying to the body. Till again, Shalom.